the silver medalist from the 100 meters and also features the reigning Paralympic champion and also the reigning European champion. Here's Mikhail Saitis of Greece, bronze of the 200 meters in the European Championships. Here's the European champion from Grisetta, Ioannis Flores of Germany, Manuela Di Marina, uh, seventh in the 400 in Doha, Hunter Woodall of the USA, silver in the four, bronze in the two in the World Championships. Here is the Paralympic champion from London 2012. When he was 20 years old, Alan Oliveira of Brazil. World champion over the one, the two, and the four in Leon in 2013. And the Pan Am champion now over 200 meters. Liam Malone, silver in the 100, apparently gave some great interviews after that success behind Johnny Peacock in the 100 meters final. Peacock's speciality is the 100. Liam Malone, let's see how you do in the two here. For New Zealand from Auckland. Strong category, good field. Oliveira with uh, a lot of focus on him in London when he dethroned Oscar Pistorius. He's the champion here and the man that Malone wants to dethrone. And the rest aiming for the same. Knocked out in the semi-finals of the 100. It's Malone in three, Alan Oliveira four, Woodall five, Di Marino six, Flores in seven, Citus in eight. The top three go through. A oh, brilliant start by Woodall. Oliveira left behind a little bit, and Lee Malone is flying as well. For New Zealand out of three. Woodall's going brilliantly. Woodall as they hit the straight. Woodall for the USA. Malone for New Zealand. And Malone's going to take this for New Zealand. A little chat between the two. And 21 3 4 very fast. Lee Malone wins it. Second place, Hunter Woodall. Look to be floors in third for Germany. And Alan Oliveira, in precarious position, might not have reached the final. It's an Oceania record for Liam Malone. 21-33. <laughs> Liam Malone was doing <laughs> something great. down the home straight that you're told you shouldn't do in junior athletics. Looking <laughs> around, see where your rivals are, but he knew where he was. And he knew where Woodhall was. And there's a bit of <laughs> gamesmanship perhaps going on. Or perhaps they're just doing... As Sir Philip Craven asked them to do, and that's enjoy yourself. He got away to a great start. Liam Malone on the inside, quickly up beside Oliveira. And then it was a question of uh, how he and Woodhall would sort it out down the straight. So, so as we watch Malone at this one look, wait, there's another one coming. There's another. And he looks back, and, they, and Woodhall looks left and right. And it's all, it's all fine, and it's all fun, and it's all over. Hey, if Bolton de Grasse can do it, these two can as well. That may be what they were looking to emulate. Both through, no problems there. Flores through as well. Alan Oliveira was fifth in 22.63, and I don't think he's made the final. That's just from a rough calculation. That'll be confirmed officially shortly. But it's Woodall who was leading, then Malone hitting the front, and it was Vaudeville from there all the way. A little glance, little word, and <laughs> it's Woodall looking over his shoulder then as well. well he's he's got great. Got you now, got you now. And that uh, trackside moving uh, uh, camera is uh, really revealing. <laughs> Malone's just having a fine old time here at the engine out. He's a confident boy out.